Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Titanium Taco here today with Ninjago then versus now. Today we will be discussing all the differences between Ninjago season 1 through 7 and Ninjago season 8. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Recently, Ninjago's production studio, Will Film, got a bigger budget in animation, which led to a much better animated Ninjago versus all of seasons 1 through 7 and the pilot episodes. As we all know by now, the ninja went through a major design change in season 8. The designs were pulled straight out from the Lego Ninjago movie. These changes were made to link the movie fans to the series. Many fans, including me, did not like these changes, but I and other fans have grown to like them. Not only did the design changes change, but if most of you noticed, in flashbacks, the designs of the original ninjas actually vary from older Ninjago. So if you put a picture of Cole from season like three next to Cole from the flashback in season eight, there will be notable differences. Minor differences, but still differences. Other designs that have been changed was Master Wu's 3D mouth, which is no longer in Ninjago season eight. With better animation came a better Spinjitsu. After seven years of a simple tornado that was color swapped for each ninja, Season 8 introduced a custom Spinjitsu tornado for each ninja. Ninjago Season 8 was the very first season to introduce a main female villain. And this is not... A situation like Skylar or like Commander Machia. I'm talking about like major villain. Like Harumi is the boss of the Sons of Garmadon. And like she's like behind everything that goes on. So season 8 introduced a female villain. Which is really cool. Like this is the first time in Ninjago history that this has happened. Ninjago City went through major change from Season 7 to Season 8. Ninjago City now looks more colorful than ever and has so much more detail. The Ninjago language is also all over Ninjago City, adding more detail to it. The Ninjago City in the TV show was also heavily inspired from the movie version. Ninjago Season 8 was the very first season to not have a proper finale. What I mean by this is that nothing really got resolved in the end of Ninjago Season 8. Yes, Ninjago Season 7 was left with a cliffhanger, but Ninjago Season 8 was left with a huge cliffhanger, like tremendous. I get that Season 8 and Season 9 are supposed to be linked together, but usually... In Ninjago, everything gets resolved in its own season. This is really the first time where the season 8 will be carried on to season 9 and be resolved in season 9. This is because the writers wanted to make both season 8 and season 9 one big season, but that ended up not happening, so it's been split. But other than that, I'm completely fine with it, so it's all good. And there you have it, folks. Ninjago then versus now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.